Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial in the Telegram bot series in Ubuntu. So here we have the Telegram bot API and we have the message entity. And uh, as we discussed in previous videos, these are the various attributes that are going to be in the message object. So far we've seen the text, which is basically a string of the characters uh, sent to the bot. And we've also seen the uh, the document and in the previous video we actually created the document handler and the files handler and we said that uh, files are sent in document, in audio, in photo, in video, animation, voice and many other uh, request types. So in this video, we'll be covering the voice type right here. So the voice is basically the voice message that you can send uh, to anyone in the chat, right? So the voice, uh, the voice object itself is composed of a file ID, file unique ID, duration, mime type, file size. Uh, it's just uh, pretty much the same as the document that we've seen in the previous tutorial. So what we're going to do is actually get the uh, the content of this uh, audio file or this voice message and then we're going to call the speech to text API of IBM Watson. So this is here the IBM cloud and you can just type in cloud.ibm.com create a free account as I did and then what we're gonna do is go to the catalog right here and we want to search for speech to text hit enter so this is the speech to text that we're gonna use go click on it Okay, so we're going to be on the live plan, which is free. We've got 500 minutes per month. So let's hit the create button right here. Okay, so now we have our uh, service is ready to use. Okay, so now let's go to the manage tab right here and here we have the API key which we're gonna be using in this tutorial. So, let's go to our VS Code. So here is the uh, message, the pi file and the message class that we've been developing in the uh, past couple of tutorials. So what we need to do is actually add a new type to the supported types which is going to be the voice. So I'm going to pin this list voice and then what we need to do is create the handler method for this type voice. So def underscore voice underscore get underscore response is going to take the self as a parameter of course and then what we need to do is try to get the file content as we did in the document get response. So, uh, I'm just going to copy this method right here, paste it here. So, what we're going to do is actually get the file content first. And uh, we're not going to uh, save the file on the server. So, I'm going to delete this. And if the file is not found, we can change the message. Could not get your voice message, for example. All right. Okay. So right now, what we need to do is create another method that's going to fetch uh, the transcript for our voice message. So I create a function diff underscore get underscore voice underscore transcript. And it's going to take self as a parameter and also the file underscore content. And we now need to uh, put the uh, API URL of the IBM Watson 
in a variable, so I'm going to name it IBM underscore API underscore URL. And it's going to be equal to uh, this URL right here. All right, so it's HTTPS colon slash slash gateway slash LON the Watson platform dot net slash speech to text slash API slash v1 slash recognize right okay so what we need to do now is actually uh construct our post request to this api so response is equal to requests the post the url is equal to ibm api url data is equal to file content and then the headers Oops, headers, the content type, of course. So content dash type. And the content type, we can get the content type actually from the MIME type, which is in self the value. So self the value of MIME underscore type, which is actually the MIME type of the file. And what we're gonna do next is actually define our authentication so oath is equal to it's going to be a tuple the first uh the first element in the tuple is going to be api key and the second element is going to be the key generated from the ibm watson api so let's go to the service page right here and we want to just copy this api key right here and go back and just paste it here right so now that we've contracted our request uh, right here, what we're gonna do is actually parse the JSON response, right? So, JSON underscore response is gonna be equal to JSON dot lotus response dot content. And what we want to do now is check the response status code and check the results in the JSON response. So, if response dot status code is not equal to 200 or json underscore response to get results actually this is uh not not json response to get results so we're not having results or the status code is not equal to 200 then what we're gonna do is just return uh maybe could not hear you well so return could not hear your will because we were not able to uh, extract the uh, text or the transcript of the voice message okay otherwise what we want to do is just return the transcript right so return JSON underscore response of results of zero of alternatives of zero of transcript okay so this is basically gonna be the transcript of the voice message all right so what we need to do now is call this get voice transcript method in the voice get response method right here so I'm gonna create a variable which I'm gonna call voice underscore transcript and it's gonna be equal to self dot underscore get underscore voice underscore transcript and we're gonna send it the file underscore content as a parameter right so right now we have the transcript or the uh, could not hear you well message which is eventually a text message that we want to send back to the user because what we're doing here is actually it's like an echo server but we first uh, extract the transcript from the audio file or I mean the voice message and then just return this text back to the user so we're going to replace this uh, response text right here with the voice transcript and we should be good to go so make sure when you open the terminal that you are on the flask environment I'm already on the flask so I'm gonna type in here Python uh, server.py so let's go to our telegram button now and we're gonna send a voice message just to test our code so I'm gonna send the message right now this is a test 
message. Okay, so it's working. Let's try another message. Hi guys, how are you doing? All right, hi guys, how are you doing? Okay, so let's just uh, try to record uh, a blank voice message just to see the error message which should appear. Okay, so right now we're waiting for the response. Could not hear you well. All right, so... Uh, that's it guys for this tutorial and catch you in the next one.